So as you can see, I got my air rifle here. Uh, it is a uh, Masterpiece Arms Matrix Air Pro. That's the chassis. Uh, I saw this at Chad Show. This very same setup, and I just I just had to have it. <laughs> uh, the chassis adjustability, everything you can you can guess. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a pro chassis, so you can adjust length of pull. You can uh, adjust your cheek weld. It has that back rider adjustable, obviously as well. Uh, it has it's ambidextrous, so left and right, the works. It also has this white forearm uh, or forehand that uh, it's gonna work really well for me because I'm gonna shoot this thing off of my Seb Neo X front rest. Pretty much, I'm gonna use the same setup that I use for F class when I shoot this rifle. Uh, the rifle itself is a uh, Air Force Air Guns HM1000X. This thing is sweet. And uh, the action is just a pullback. Pretty neat. It uses these uh, mags. And then you load the pellets into here. And then the mag simply goes right there. And then you just cycle it back and forth. And everything. every time you do that, it loads a new pellet. Uh, whenever you can't push it anymore, that means you're empty. So, you know, pull it out, replace it with a new one. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the trigger is actually very nice. It's got the safety right in front of it. You flip that out of the way and it's ready to go. The tuner. These barrels come threaded half 20 and that's why we make adapters for half 20. They're for air rifles. Threw a uh, half 20 adapter on here, V2 adapter. Uh, put it on there with blue Loctite because I don't want that thing moving on me at all. And then I threw an Easy Tuner V2 on it. Uh, you pretty much thread it on until it's flush with the, uh, with the front. You will see that these adapters are marked A, B, C, and D. There's witness marks all the way around. So what you do is when you go flush with the, with the end, that zero is gonna line up to any of these witness marks. So just find the one that you wanna use. You know, in my case, B is right on top, so I'm gonna use that one. And that's gonna be my reference mark. Then from there, I'm gonna start tuning. When I tune, I'm gonna shoot groups at zero. Then I'm gonna go to 10. Then I'm gonna go to 20, and so on and so forth until I find what looks pretty good. And then I can split it and start kind of playing in between those numbers. The scope that I'm going to use, I'm going to throw a Collis K1050 on here. This is uh, the same scopes that I use for F-Class. This is a second focal plane MOA scope. And as the name implies, it's a 10 to 50 power. So 10 power on the low end, 50 power on the high end. This rifle, I'm mainly going to be using it for about 100 yards. Uh, I can get that out here in the backyard. I'm going to set up a target that's going to allow me to you know, practice from home. Uh, but so yeah, obviously the 50 power is probably not gonna be needed, but because that is the exact same scope I use for F-Class, I wanna use it here. Uh, I'm gonna set it up as close to my F-Class rifles as possible so that I can practice and, you know, hopefully get a little better reading the wind. Uh, the scope, I'm going to mount it on a Masterpiece Arms uh, mount. This is a single piece mount. And I'm still not sure if it's gonna work 100%. When I say that is, uh, you know, this mag, I gotta be able to feed it. Let's see. You know, so it's probably not gonna work unless I throw it back here. But anyway, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this because of these mags. Uh, it comes with multiple mags, so I'll have three or four mags for that. Also, when I mount the scope, I'm going to use my Short Action Customs final scope level. So this fixture allows me to put my scope on here. You can see I have levels on here. I'll make sure this thing is perfectly level. I have a plumb bob on the other side of the shop. I will make sure that vertical crosshair lines up exactly with the plumb bob. And then once I do, I will tighten everything down after obviously that I verify that I have good eye relief. After all that's set up, everything's perfectly level. The crosshairs are perfectly plumb. 
then I'm going to mount a tube level. I prefer these tube levels because once you have the scope in the rings set up and level, then you can move that scope throughout as many rifles as you want. And you know, this is your, your uh, verification that those crosshairs are level. So there's also a level on the chassis. If you want to use that level instead, then you would have to mount the, the mount on here, the scope, and you would have to make sure that that level is perfectly level. And then you use your plumb bob to set your reticle on your scope for it to be perfectly plumb. So either way it works, I just simply prefer the tube mounted level. Uh, other than that, you know, this thing's pretty sweet. I'm gonna start playing with it. Uh, I also got the compressor and a tank so that I can fill it up here and, <laughs> you know, get as much practice as I want. Also, pellets. Pellets, I'm going to be using the JSB Match Diablos. So supposedly these are really good. Uh, so I'm gonna start with these. These are, uh, I guess, 33.95 grain. That's what it looks like. So about 34 grain. These are 25 caliber. That's the other thing. This this air gun is uh, 25 caliber. I don't know anything about air guns, but when I asked, I was told this is the way to go. So <laughs> I trust Air Force air guns. And so whatever they told me to get, I got. And so far, anybody that I've told about my air rifle, they say, yep, there's a good one. So. I'm happy, I'm excited. So I'm gonna put all this together. Obviously I cannot show you on YouTube how to put everything together, but you know, you guys have a pretty good idea. And if you don't, and you wanna see me put this completely together, you can join my forum and you'll see the full assembly. This chassis did not come with a rifle. I had to assemble them, but it's just simple. Just one simple bolt on the bottom and you're ready to go. The fit is perfect i mean it just drops right in almost as if it was bedded it, it was very nice fit so i'm very confident that this thing's going to shoot right out of the box this is a carbon wrapped barrel i mean the works i don't know if i show you the vise but this is a total vise and i love this thing you can see why this thing pivots so if i'm working on you know like this if i'm working on this side i can do it like this I can work over here. And if for whatever reason, well, <clears throat> for whatever reason, I wanna work on the butt pad, I can do this. You get the idea. So pretty, pretty sweet vice. I love it. Uh, it's my favorite. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm excited. And uh, I'm gonna take you on this ride. Uh, we're gonna make this thing shoot as good as possible. I don't know how good they will shoot, because I have no experience, but I've been told they should be able to do half inch at 100 yards if I do my part. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, that's it. Keep them centered. And I'm